Giardiasis, what is it and how should we treat it? It mostly affects regions where there's poor sanitation and water infrastructure. In developing countries, this is the cause of more than 10% of child diarrhea cases and 25% of this population has the disease at any given time. In developed countries, specifically the U.S., this is the most common cause of waterborne diseases. Nearly 50% are asymptomatic and it has an extremely low mortality rate, but does have a high developmental delay in children who get the disease. When symptoms do occur, they may last anywhere from two to six weeks and include watery diarrhea, fatigue, abdominal cramps, bloating, gas, nausea, weight loss, and can cause lactose intolerance. Symptoms can occur beyond six weeks and may also recur in some people. Giardiasis is caused by an anaerobic parasite known as Giardia intestinalis, also referred to as Giardia lamia. It's primarily found in water, which is why proper sanitation and water infrastructure is so important in controlling the spread of Giardiasis. This parasite can be found in one of two states, a cyst or trophozoa. Initially, the cyst contaminates food, water, or gets on the hands. The cyst is then ingested, enters the intestines, and yields two trophozoites that then undergo binary fission to replicate. These trophozoites can then remain free in the intestine or latch onto the mucosa, which increases permeability of the brush border and leads to flattening of the villi, inhibition of disaccharidase activity, and overgrowth of enteric bacterial flora. However, these have not been proven to be the cause of the symptoms observed. Finally, the trophozoites reform into cysts once in the colon and are excreted. Any trophozoite excreted will not survive in the environment. Normally, giardiasis clears up on its own without medication, but for those times medication is needed, metronidazole is recommended. It is an antiprotozole nitromidazole prodrug that commonly treats infections caused by anaerobic microorganisms since it can be metabolized to its active form within these organisms. It's a prescription drug that can cost around $14 for a single treatment, which is three tablets a day for five to seven days. In general terms, how it works is by entering the microorganism and reacting with the reduced form of ferrodoxin. Ferrodoxin then becomes oxidized, and metronidazole becomes its reduced active metabolite. This covalently binds the DNA, disrupting its helical structure, and inhibiting nucleic acid synthesis. This leads to DNA fragmentation and ultimately microorganism death. Metronidazole has relatively high bioavailability and spreads well throughout the body. It has 20% protein binding and can metabolize in the liver. Its half-life is 8 hours and is primarily excreted in the urine. To help metronidazole reach the target location where most of the infectious parasite population will be located, which are the cysts in the colon, microspheres can be used. This will prevent premature breakdown of the drug. The microspheres are about 9 to 12 micrometers in diameter and have two layers of coating. The outer layer is Ugigate S100, which is an anionic copolymer that begins to break down and become permeable at a desired pH, such as those of the stomach and intestines. The inner layer is pectin, which is a polysaccharide and, like most polysaccharides, can be broken down only by enzymes found in the colon. Its degradation leads to a controlled and extended release of metronidazole targeted specifically in the colon. This kills the parasites, cures the disease in the host, and prevents further spread of giardiasis.